as we see our men under 20 getting ready for their 200 meter semi-finals in the semi-final one lane one we have ethan duplessis from athletics transkai in lane two we have a blessing Ikwebiku from Athletics Scouting North Individual. Lane 3 we have Vian Martin representing Boiland Athletics. In lane 4 Armand van der Walt from Athletics Scouting North. We all want to see what he can do. Neo Modibe from Central Scouting Athletics will be in lane 5. Kamogelo Totetsi in lane 6 from Central Scouting Athletics. Filling lane 7 we have Romeo Andrews from Western Province Athletics. And completing the lane draw in lane number 8 Johan de Goede from Guazulu Natal Athletics. We are Armand van der Walt from Gauteng North with the number 470 on his back. That is the athlete we're going to be looking out for in this race. What can he produce? Record time there of 20.10. We were hoping he was going to beat the junior record in the 100 meters, but we haven't seen it yet. So let's see what he will produce on the 200. He looks good. He looks ready. He looks focused. That is Armand van der Waal in picture. And it's a fast start there from Neo Modibia, but look at the man in the center of the picture there. Armand van der Waal currently cruising away. He comes past the athlete outside of him from CGA. It is uh, going to be Armand to come through for the victory here. Just look at him walking his arms. Look at the focus. Look at the focus on him. He just wants to make sure that he qualifies easily, but he shuts down towards the line. And look at the time, 20.73 seconds. He makes it look so easy. Very, very clean running. Great form, great technique, and uh, Van der Waal definitely in full swing. It's all business. It's all about ticking the boxes now. And the title looks like he is going to be the favorite uh, to take it. And the form is in Alyssa. It's showing that everything is lining up towards that. And a great run there in uh, semi-final number one of three. One Armand van der Waal getting the victory there in 20.72 seconds. Neo Modibe from Central Gauteng Athletics coming in with a time of 21.05 and Vian Martin from Boiland getting 21.07 seconds in third place. Up next we have semi-final two of three for the men under 20, 200 meters. In lane number one we have Jonathan Kneip from Boiland Athletics. Lane two, Dian Roo from Athletic Central Northwest. Lane three we have Jared Crossman from Athletics Free State. Lukman Khabir, second uh, in the 100 meter final. He is from Western Province Athletics. Unati Tladla from Athletics Val Triangle will be in lane five. Dejean Klomi in lane six from Western Province Athletics. He was disqualified in the 100 meters, so he would want to make a comeback now. Moik Abrams in lane seven from Boiland Athletics. And Keenan Adams falls lane eight from Eastern Province Athletics. And we're off. It is a semi-final number two or three now for the boys or the men under 20. And look at the men go. It is going to be Western uh, Province looking very strong. It's Jadine Tommy, but also the man on his inside, Luquan Kabir. And uh, look at them go. It is going to be these two men from Western Province Athletics to take the victory. But the win is definitely going to go to the man running in. A lane, a number four. It is Luquan Kabir. A fantastic run there. Unofficial winning time there of 21.06 seconds for the win. Western Province with some very powerful athletes here. They're going to be the athletes that are going to be looking to disrupt Armand van der Waal in his pursuit for the 200 meter gold. The second semi final for the men's under 20, 200 meters saw Lukman Khabir winning from Western Province Athletics in a time of 21.05 seconds. Coming in second, Dajan Klomi from Western Province Athletics in a time of 21.18 seconds. And Jared Crossman getting the third place from Athletics Free State in a time of 21.22 seconds. Oh, but let's have a look for the lane draw for the men's under 20 semi final 3 of 3. In lane 1, we have Ethan Berger from Central Gauteng Athletics. Lane 2, Bongile Tladla, representing Athletics Northwest North. In lane 3, we have Denzel Hundloho from Athletics Gauteng North. Lane 4, the gold medalist in the 100 meters, Kharim Abdurrahman from Western Province Athletics. Lane 5, John Slabbit, he's representing Athletics Southwestern District. Lane 6, 
James Lavaskakni uh, representing Athletics Free State, Mikhail Pulsa in Rain 7 from Western Province Athletics, and closing it off in lane 8, Asanda Mabuza from Athletics in Pumalanga. This is semi final 3 of 3 for the men under 20, only the top two make it through, and then it is all about the fastest time. So, this is the last chance for these youngsters. They want a position in their final, they want to chase the title. The favorite to look out for there is Harim. Abdurrahman from Western Province Athletics. He is the national title holder in the 100 meters. Ethan Berger comes out very fast, but look at the man, Abdurrahman, looking very strong there in lane number four. He's not going to waste time. He's not going to leave it for later. He's flying around the bend at the moment and he's immediately in the lead. Just look at him. Powerful arm action, powerful arm swing, high knee action. It's all about driving all the way to the finish line. It's all about time. He's going all the way to the finish. And look at the time. Unofficial winning time there of 20.78. Abdurrahman means business. He means a business indeed and it is office hours clocking in the hours check in a check out to see you guys in the final brilliant run there from the sa under 20 100 meter champion he gave it his all Alyssa. he didn't look like he was waiting for the final and the third semi-final for the men's under 20, 200 meters. So, Harim Abdurrahman from Western Province Athletics getting the victory in 20.77 seconds. And coming in second, John Slubbert in a time of 21.36. And getting the third place is Dental Global in a time of 21.65 seconds. I'm very excited for that under 20, 200 meter final. Temba, we have great prospects in there from uh, Karim Abdul Ahman to Lukman to uh, Arman van der Valt, you know, and we have our surprise athletes also coming through. I think it's going to be a spectacular final for the men's under 20, so you do not want to miss that. It is going to bring fires. Lukman also the silver medalist in the mix there, so we have a full house for the men under 20 final coming up later. Don't miss out. It's going to be really, really the humdig. Probably the highlight of the uh, tournament, the highlight of the series only time will tell we have a lot of finals coming up